Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over the best ways to get rid of delay in NBA 2K24. In this video, we are going to be going over 14 different ways you can get rid of delay. Before we get into the 14 tips that will help you get rid of delay in NBA 2K24, make sure you drop a like on the video and drop a sub to the channel. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first tip to getting rid of delay in NBA 2K24 is to buy a LAN cable. Now, what a LAN cable does is it plugs from your router into your console. It makes your internet speed so much faster, which is going to improve your latency. Now, when I made the switch from wireless, internet to a LAN cable you can pretty much notice the change immediately I mean it just makes your game so much smoother and the best part is it's also very cheap you can pick one up for about six or seven dollars at either GameStop or Walmart but yeah it's definitely worth the investment tip number two is also a very cheap method it's literally just a plug in your controller now if you're on Xbox you are unfortunately gonna have to pay a little bit more and get a wired controller now if you're on PS5 or PS4 they obviously give you a cable when you get a console you just want to use that cable now I'm telling y'all this is gonna improve your delay so much I cannot play too k24 without my controller plugged in tip number three is going to be invest in a top tier monitor with a low ms response time now ms response time literally is getting rid of delay that's the whole point of that and i invested in a very very good monitor it has a 0.5 ms response time now i made the switch from a tv to the monitor and let me tell you you are going to notice the difference immediately if you pair this tip with tip number one it's going to be a game changer now, if you do play on tv make sure to check your settings and see if you have a gaming mode and if you do switch to gaming mode whenever you're playing 2k24 24. that mode is to improve your latency now, obviously it's not going to be like as not delayed as a monitor would be but it's going to be a very very good alternative to just playing without the gaming mode so tip number five is to lower your resolution if you didn't know if you're playing on a very high resolution you will be a little bit delayed so for example if you're playing on 4k but you really don't want to be delayed on 2k anymore you might want to turn that down to 1080p tip number six is simple just restart your router if you're ever just lagging and like you usually don't lag just restart your router trust me it will probably fix the problem Problem. It's very simple and it helps a lot. Tip number seven is going to be to move your router closer to your console. If you have a LAN cable, it really doesn't matter where your router is because your console is always going to be connected to your router. But if you're playing on wireless, if you move your router closer to your console, you are going to be way less delayed. Tip number eight is going to be to take other devices that are not being used off your Wi-Fi. So for example, if you're playing the game, but you're not using your phone, you're not using your iPad, or you're not using a computer, I would recommend turning them off of Wi-Fi. Anytime I'm on the game, I always turn my phone off of Wi-Fi and put it on data yeah it's a really big help for something very simple tip 10 is going to be to cancel your downloads that are going on in the background so for example if you're playing a game and you have like fortnite downloading in the background you either want to pause or cancel that download because it is going to make you lag out of your mind so always make sure you're not downloading some upload file in the background while you're playing because that might be why you're lagging tip 10 is going to be to hard reset your controller this really really helps with delay if you haven't ever hard reset your controller that might be a reason why you're delayed and this doesn't mess anything up all it does is it makes your controller the same way it was when you first got it. Tip 11 is going to be to check the settings on your monitor. Now, not too long ago, I found out that there was actually a setting on my monitor that gets rid of delay. Now, the setting on my monitor was called racing mode, and that mode's whole point is to get rid of delay. So if you have a racing mode on your monitor, make sure to turn that on. But either way, just look around your monitor, see if you have any setting on there that says anything about delay. If it does, make sure to turn it on. I promise you, it will help you so much. So tip number 12 is going to be to get your timing down in the Gatorade facility. The thing is, you might just not know your jump shot. Thing is the game is always going to be a little bit delayed and you're going to have to adjust to that and it actually is as delayed as it is in the park in the Gatorade facility. Say for example if you practice your jump shot in my career it's not going to be the same timing since my career is single player. In the Gatorade facility there are other people practicing right around you so it's going to be delayed since you're connecting to an online game. Tip 13 is make sure that you're on the right server. The way you can check this is by pressing up on the d-pad when you're in a park and it's going to tell you in the bottom right corner what server you're on. So say that you have a friend and he's from California and you're from New York y'all are going to be playing on different servers so if you're delayed make sure to check what server you're playing on because there's been a couple times where I didn't even know I was playing on a different server and I felt delayed you gotta check that stuff now tip number 14 to get rid of delay is going to be to refresh your frames now this is a really really good tip to use in game because when you refresh your frames it basically resets everything and it gives your game like just a smoother feel now all you want to do to do that if you're on PlayStation you want to hold the PlayStation button go to the main menu and then go right back into the game that's literally all you have to do to refresh your frames and it's it's going to make your game less choppy and a lot smoother that's why you see all those pro players just randomly go to their home screen in the middle of a game and the final thing i got to say now the city is always going to be delayed there's really nothing you can do about that i mean as y'all can see i'm in the city right now look how much stuff is going on there's nine courts being played on right now so obviously there's going to be a little bit of delay since there's so much going on same thing in the normal city like if you play on these street ball courts just look how huge the city is like you're always going to be a little choppy especially in the rise courts it's the worst over here for some 
some reason. The first week of a 2K is always the worst the servers are gonna be since everybody is on the game right now. But as long as you use the tips I said in this video, your delay will be pretty much gone. I mean, I have barely had any problems except for just choppiness in parks. That's really the only problem I've had. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the 14 ways to get rid of delay in NBA 2K24. If this video helps you out, a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any video ideas. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'm gonna catch you on the next video.